Morning! Emsier! Mixier! What's he doing? Morning, Mick! Morning, Joseph. You alright? Yeah. Happy? Yeah. Good? Come on. Uh, yeah. Sort of. Why? What are you doing? No, no, I'm alright. Fine. You still got a poly leg? Yeah, it's better, but it's not 100%. No running today? No. No what? Running? No. What, since 1980? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to swear. <laughs> well, it's nice to see Mick here. And he's happy today, which is great. Um, yeah. <laughs> so welcome to our um, life on a beef and arable farm anyway. Uh, I know that uh, last night I did the Christmas tree challenge. I think Charlotte Ashley's definitely going to do it. I spoke to her um, last night. So that should be fun. Get some more people involved. And uh, yeah, we'll have a bit of Christmas cheer. Because everybody's going to be putting the Christmas trees up in the next few weeks, aren't they? So it's very current. Right, no Andy today because he's down in Devon. So I am on the straw blower, if you can see it. It's quite dark, isn't it? Um, yeah, I'm the straw blower man today. Today we're using barley straw. Can you see the colour of it? Oh, it's lovely. Everywhere's going to look beautiful. Um, wheat straw's a bit duller. But this is just like nice, bright and yellow. So I got the lights all on on the beast. I think it's about time to turn them off, to be honest. Because that sun's coming up in the sky. It makes these yards look really good, this barley straw. Tell us about your big legs then, mate. A poorly leg. Can't even pull my trousers up correctly. <laughs> it's not funny. <laughs> you have to get it sorted then. I'm gonna do. What? Well, no, I, I think the best thing that you said is, what thing can't you do right now? Can't jump. <laughs> can't Remember the last time you jumped? Oh, no, I know what you're thinking. First one. <laughs> You're going to be on your own anyway, aren't you? You know, I can't wait. Your wife, your daughter's going. Yep. I've got, oh, my, I've got my son in law, he's a good cook. All right. Bye. He'll sort you out, mate. He'll keep you well fed then. That's all right. So, of all the merchandise. Bandanas. <laughs> Do you want a woman, woman's headband? No, I just like them. I won't fit me because I ain't got no hair on. What? Did you see Andy on it? Ah, he's a egg. He's an egg cup. You can't say that, mate. Exactly. Right, I'm going to leave Mick now. He's going to cut some wood up, he says. Um, I'm going to jump on the 9 metre. We've got some straw to put on the trailer. And set out ready for tomorrow. Em's doing a mix. And um, I think then she's going to be driving on the motorway. So watch out. Uh, well, you, I've, I've warned you. Uh, too late because when this video comes out she'll have already been on but um, yeah apologies if uh, you see a little green car on the motorway it's um i think it only just does 70 um so if you get stuck behind her that's why and she's got a black box now so you've got to follow the speed limits to the t yeah m's on it now just filling the mixer up measuring that feed into there i'll just put these spikes on right so we'll get this trailer emptied and then we'll get it filled back up. This MX Grab is really, really good. So just push on, we grab them so that they're very secure. We got them and then we can set them out so then I've got some pails ready for tomorrow morning. Look at this, he's stealing me wood. He's gonna cut you up for his log burner. Em's got the straw blow dropped off, she's going to put the mill on now. Just so we can get a bit more milling done today. And while Em's doing that, I'm going to fill this trailer with straw. And I might put it on a little time lapse, because I'm loving time lapses at the minute.
can see now. We're getting towards the end of the stack. As it's starting to go down, it's not as high. It's Has it tired you out that he's, Yeah, he's, he's working it. It's hard work. I don't like pushing a steering wheel about. What did you say you need to do? What, what do you need to do? We come to realise that you're getting older. Ah. And you need to... Slow down. Slow down. That's it, Mick. Slow down. Six years old, isn't it, Ellie? Stop rushing about everywhere. Take me time, spend me money. Don't need to your do wife, Your wife spends your money. She always safe furs anyway, I'm not bothered. Why aren't you going to New York anyway? Not allowed, am I? <laughs> <laughs> I get pissed to eat from your own. Oh, yeah. tomorrow, on tomorrow. You know you're fine now, to be honest. <laughs> Done to be here when we get down, sir. Well, I don't know, I don't know. Is it a cup of tea? No cup of tea, Joe. Oh, no. my dad made him a cup of tea earlier, and um, nice and hot. You were really hot, so he's, um, he's, he's very impressed. Can you get my dad to make you one at dinner time then? No, you can't, Marge, you can make better. Mm. No, you can ask my dad to make you one at dinner time. I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> you might get mad and give it dead eye. <laughs> right, I've got these bales on here. Right. I've got tractors to get um, so we can fetch the just trailer out. So we're on just millings, this is crushing the barley and the wheat seeds so that the cows can digest it. What I've just noticed is we've got a hole in the mill. I'm guessing somebody's giving it a good whack on the side. It's bent somewhere. I'll have to get some sealant and uh, hopefully bung that up when we've, uh, when we've finished today. Because if we get any whole grains into the feed, um, they just go straight through the cow, so basically like a seed's job is like to go through the animal and then it can start growing, can't it? So um, the reason that, that's the reason we have to crack it so that it can get to the energy and the cows can digest it. So to add to the presents and bits and bobs, Andy's got a parcel today. Probably a beastie one as well, like there's some weight to it. So we'll have to keep that until Monday when Andy's here, because he's got Andy's name on it. Andy says, oh, just open it, just open it. It's no Andy, it's your post. I'm not opening your post. So, um, yeah, we'll wait until Monday and we'll see what Andy's got in his big box of tricks. You see, I told you about Andy, his box. Ah, that's about get old. <laughs> you got your wellies. Where's Mick's Christmas present? No <laughs> razors. Somewhat new razors. I'm going to be safe today, they look pretty. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, because wife's wear. Yeah, my guy, no bearing. <laughs> oh, no. About 50. So, it's having a bit of trouble because it's blocking up his straw. No Andy's straw for it. So now I've got the tractor turned off, I've got the mill turned off. And that's the only time you should ever deal with anything with a PTO. This is a PTO. Um, we've got to get my hand in there and pull all that straw out and then we should be back to uh, working perfect. Right, so that's mostly all out. On there, you can see, just can't, that stuff just sits there and then the wheat just sits on top of it and it can't get through the rollers. So I've just had a call from M. Sounds like she has had a Charlotte Ashley moment. Let's check it out. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> so M's missed the trough and uh, it's in the pen. So it should be in there. But at least the band's are still on it, eh, M? Could have been worse, couldn't it? Could have been worse. We'll try my attempt, um, get your heads out. So we just have to lower it in a bit because um, they have a tendency to put the heads through. There we go. But I've got it a little bit easier than them because I'm not putting it over the gate, the gate's open. I have got it easier, Anna. Yeah. I'm saying I have got, I meant it look easy, but I have got it easier because the gate's open. <laughs> so what you say, Em? It was screaming at you. Yeah. 
<laughs> so it has a load, a load monitor on it here. What? I'm says you're a cow nearly kicked her. Not, not friendly. Yeah, I was saying we got a load monitor here, so um, if there's too much weight on the front, it goes up into the red area, and then it will cut all the hydraulics off, so that you don't um, take it any further and you end up tipping the machine. So that's what happened to him. Um, so what you can do is you can press the exclamation mark if you think it's safe to do so and you can override it for a few seconds just to be able to like drop it. But I remember when them things first came in, every farmer in the country hated them because I suppose when you experienced, you sort of knew what you were doing, you thought, and, um, and yeah, you just saw it as like something impeding you. But well, actually now I just don't even notice it's there. Like I work well within the limits of it, and um, yeah, it just it's just there as a bit of a safety backup to uh, to help you out when you I don't know forget or get somebody less experienced on. It just means that things aren't going to get destroyed. So. All for safety. Yeah, so just telling him he's had a parcel. I've rung him as well and it's not, he hasn't bought anything or anything like that, so it's definitely somebody sent it him as a present. Check that out. That's kind of huge. Huge, isn't it? Huge. Yeah. So I said, well, he says, oh, open it, open it. I said, I said no, we'll wait till Monday. Who oh, knows? It's heavy. It is heavy, isn't it? Business. Right, anyway, Em's getting off because she's going to go and practice on motorways of UK Britain. Are you excited for that? Yeah. Go 70. I can't do 70. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do 71 though, you got your black box now, haven't you? Damn, how boring, eh? It's like, that was fun, is it? When I was 17, just, you know, I'm not going to say that I stuck to the speed limits all the time, but... Now, um, you definitely should. Yeah, it's just not the same as it was last week. <laughs> it's boring now. Yeah. Can't do any erratic things, can you? Can you it, it, does it like notice if you're doing round corners too fast yeah. and stuff like that? Smoothness, speed and usage. I've got to drive smooth. Not use it at certain times of day. Really? Well, you can, but the not. Well, so you can't like drive at night? Yeah, or you, right. Well, you can, but like... I can't just think, can't just put, you know, a local ride around at all. Okay, I don't know. Right, well, have fun anyway. I'm going for my bacon sandwich and making that. Enjoy. Enjoy. Bye. Johnny. So, we've had his dinner. How many sandwiches did you have today? Two. Oh, you're slimming? Yeah. You didn't have, you didn't have a, a bacon or tart either, did you? I didn't no. know, I didn't notice that. Well done, mate. I'm starting running, Joe. Oh, I have to get beeps out, Anna. Beep, beep. Get what? Get the beeps out for your swearing. Why is that what you do? Well, you put a beep in. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, I have done before, if I can remember. If if I forgot and I've not beeped it out, it's because I was really busy uh, in editing process. Did you get and I apologise. No, I never had any complaint, but young kids might be watching sometimes, and it's not always uh, appropriate, is it? Not needed. Anyway. I've just got on a big 210 and we're going to fetch these, well, this load of straw around. So we've got it ready for tomorrow and Monday. What's up? We've got to go see grandkids and fill the corner. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's been five minutes, five minutes after he's having, having his bacon sarnies. What time is it now? I'm not sure. Ah. Probably about five past one. Ah. Go big. <laughs> Right, all right, and I'll see you next week for your bacon sarnies again. Are you coming tomorrow? Yeah, I'm coming tomorrow. Are you? Yeah, I'm only a but don't All right, flash ash. Yeah. Right, all right, and I'll see you tomorrow. Three, about five. Right, I'll see you, bye. So that's dropped off, done. Uh, I'm going to keep milling now. Do a mix, things like that, or a pre-mix. We've got, got one on the floor already. 
And yeah, I think this is about where I'm going to end today's video. Um, it's getting a bit of a long one. I can get it edited in time, get this milling done, get this mixing done. And um, yeah, all that. So if you have liked today's video, remember to press that like button and subscribe if you're not already. And um, yeah, if I do a live later, which is possible, if you've rung the little bell, you'll get a notification for it. So um, thanks for watching, guys. If you want your name on Mixer Mentions, remember that is in the uh, link in the description below. And if anybody is wanting any of the merchandise, we've um, sold out of some of the sizes, but we've still got some other ones um, in stock. So head over there and, um, and, and get what you need for Christmas. Business, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.